Hello everyone, my name is Satyam Verma and this is experiment 2 part B where I have tried to create a displaying, uh, displaying roll number uh, 201086 uh, using an IC74138 which gives input to an IC7447 and which is indirectly uh, which is then connected to a 7 segment display. So here we can see that first of all I have uh, used the pulsar to give an input to an IC7493 which then uh, gives an input to an IC74138. I have directly connected Q3 to MR1 and MR2 in order to ensure that this is only a, this gives only a 3-bit output over here. So what I have done here is uh, the logic that I have used. Uh, okay, yeah. So the logic that I have used here is uh, since I have to display 20EE1086. Uh, I have first of all uh, ensured that uh, for all the values that I have to dis display uh, for each character I know the binary equivalent of that particular character for example 2 has a binary equivalent of 0 0 1 0 here a3 a2 a1 and a0 uh, uh, actually mean the inputs over here for ic 7447 these pins so over here I have uh, written down the binary forms of all the characters that I want to be uh, displayed uh, and for each uh, each binary input, I have first of all tried to identify that, uh, like for example, the counter goes from zero to seven because it is a three-bit counter, so it goes from zero to seven. So at zero, uh, we have Q zero at zero that is low state, and rest all are at high state. Similarly, for one, we have Q one at high uh, at low state, and rest all pins at high state. So uh, the basic logic used here is that, for example. Uh, a0 it stays low for all values except this particular value which is 1 and that corresponds to q4 so therefore uh, at uh, the decimal number 4 like the fourth count out of 7 uh, out of 8 like from 0 to 7 so there are 8 counts so at the fifth count which is actually 4 like 0 1 2 3 4 uh, a0 uh, reaches high state so therefore uh, uh, at this this particular pin that is Q4 should be connected to A0 via a NAND uh, NOT gate because this is 0 and we want a 1 as input at A0 for an IC7447. Similarly for A1 I want uh, Q, uh, like uh, 0, 2, 3 and 7 as high states and rest all at, as low states so therefore I would ensure that Q0, Q2, Q3 and Q7 are connected to A1 in such a way that if either one of them uh, goes to low state, I get a high output at A1. So therefore, uh, I, we can see that A1 has uh, been connected to four uh, uh, output pins of IC74138, which are Q7, uh, then Q3, then Q2, and then Q0 over here, as has been shown in this picture. Uh, similarly, A2 has been connected to Q2, Q3, and Q7 uh, over here, as can be seen. Uh, so, if you go here, A2 has been connected to uh, Q7, Q3, and Q2. And in the end, A3 has been connected to Q2, Q3, and Q6. So, A3 over here has been connected to Q6, then 3, and then 2. Basically, a uh, NAND gate has been used here because all of them shall be giving a low state output at their corresponding values. But we want a high state over here at A2 so that the respective LED pin can glow at the, for the seven segment display. So therefore, uh, if this logic works, we should get a display of 20EE1086 corresponding for the three bit output that is from zero to seven. So since the counter counts from 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, uh, 6, all the way to 7, for each character we get 2, 0, E, E, 1, 0, 8, 6. So there are 8 characters over here and there are 8 counts over here for IC74138. So the output should be 20, E, E, 1, 0, 8, 6. So we'll be checking that now. I'll reset it and I'll run it. So is it 2, 0, E, E, 1, 0, eight and six so as we can see we are getting an output for e we are getting uh, such a character because uh, we can see over here that for an for a seven segment display the binary uh, input that gives e as an output uh, is uh, like the decimal input is four uh, 14 sorry 
and uh, we can see the over here uh, that it corresponds to E. So this is how the E looks. So there it is. We can see that we are able to get a rolling uh, display using an IC74138 uh, to give an output on IC7447 and get a roll number displayed. Thank you.